We are at Investors Title Company, our favorite title company, and we are signing refinance docs to refinance six properties. Yeah, so this is basically rental portfolio management. So that's what we're doing today. We're refinancing six properties. So we bought these, and I don't have the exact numbers, but it was 2021, and we paid about 71,000 a door, or 75, was that right? How so easy, we close fast and any time that works for you, your house don't need- We are at Investors Title Company, our favorite title company, and we are signing refinance docs to refinance six properties. Yeah, so this is basically rental portfolio management. We are not as worried about interest rates as we were, you know, six, eight months ago. They've like come everybody. down a bit. But we still want to lock in 30 year fixed and we prefer to have things escrowed. So some of our private uh, or more, uh, what do you call it? Institutional lenders, but not banks, will do 30 year fixed loans and they will escrow taxes and insurance for us. So being able to do that is hugely helpful because Dave and I sometimes are like, oh, we forgot to self-escrow, put away 30, 40,000, well, $100,000 by the end of the year. So again, it's just nice to have them, have them escrowed, locked in interest rates on a 30 year mortgage. So that's what we're doing today. We're refinancing six properties. Oh, this yes. one was really cool. I did a post on it. So we bought these and I don't have the exact numbers, but it was 2021 and we paid about 71,000 a door. Was that right? Recent appraisals came in at around 160 a door. So like our, is that, is that the right number? I don't know, that yeah. seems. Long story short, we've got for today's the rates, ability at least. to yeah. pull out up to $250,000. Like we could have pulled out $250,000 on this and we wouldn't have had to pay taxes on it because it would be a debt, not necessarily income. We're not pulling out that, we're pulling out 40,000. It's just a little bit of kind of icing on the cake. A little operating capital. Now, if we pulled out the full 250, then our cash flow goes down significantly. So we don't want to do that because that just puts us in a tighter spot every month. We bought these properties with no money out of pocket too, which is really cool. We bought these from one of our private lenders who was basically getting out of the landlording business and he wanted to just be a lender. And I approached him and I said, hey, would you be willing to take 80% of what they appraise for, which is a hard offer to make. It's really a harder offer to receive than it is to make because you don't know what that number is gonna be until an appraiser goes out and tells you the number. But I told him that we could obviously get them appraised and then review those numbers and see if it works. And it did, it worked for him. And we ended up paying him 80% of what they appraised for. Did he put us on the deed? for like a, a month or something, and then we went to refinance, or did we just? Uh, I think I think what we did was he, again, this is all on paper. Oh, he, we bought them, from but him. He, lent he lent us, us the money. money. Right. Again, so a lot of stuff on paper, and then we paid him But off. we had no money invested. Right. Zero dollars invested to acquire these. Held them for two years, and now they're worth, what, 300, 400 grand more than they are? Um, then we bought them? More, more than that. 500 grand? Yeah, about 400 grand more. 400 grand more, yeah. that's pretty awesome. Power of real estate, my friends. Yeah, so if you're in real estate school, I have a, I know I just posted about that on, on there and it'll show you the exact numbers. You guys remember that one? You gotta write it out. Oh, geez. <laughs> when did they start doing this? This is just that, this lender, isn't it? Yep. Speak. This is if you try to sue them and then you go to court and then they're like, no, but they're I like, I didn't understand the documents. And they're like, well, what is this right here? It says that you speak English. You even wrote it out. I speak the English language fluently and i can barely write dude i can't either this is bad i know it's, <laughs> it's like embarrassing i can barely do this everything's tight i know yeah. it's like you guys want me to text this over to you <laughs> i can do that in like a second <laughs> my favorite is when you win all calves <laughs> that's right i mean it's just this is what it is he wrote it out that's all they asked for he didn't say <laughs> It would be better if I put yo hablo inglés. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good work getting this across the finish line, Mike. Well, here's the thing. We've still got one outstanding item, which is their insurance overwriter. Under Didn't we whatever. just sign something yesterday for that? No, so that was our operating agreement. They wanted Remember? manager, manage, manager, manage, better days, something or another. Uh, That's this, always something. Yeah, this is the insurance has household easy properties listed as the insured and better days listed as the additional insured. Additional. And they want just better days. Uh, you signed on my name. Oh, no. That's all right. Just two years on the top. It'll be fine. This is so embarrassing. It's the first closing I've messed up probably in. It's been a minute. <laughs> yeah. What's our payment on this six house? Like I said, I have no idea. You have no I idea? It's gotta be 
3500 or more. We're borrowing 590 so it's almost 600000 Your 000. principal and interest monthly payment is 3800 and your tax and insurance monthly payment is fifteen. So, 53. 53? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty damn good chunk of change, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All the rents need to go up across the board. Yeah. All right. I mean, each one of these is over 1200 I think. Here's a copy of the closing statement, because I know you guys like to... Uh... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like a closing statement. <laughs> and these are all kind of pretty high. I see appraisal, mm -hmm. processing. But it's also, you got to remember, six properties. Prepaid. Homeowner's insurance. They want 12 months sitting in an account. They want 7, no, those 000? are the ones I'm paying. We gotta pay it. Yeah, those are the first, the ones I'm paying. We gotta pay year. a year. Of insurance? Yeah. yeah. Why a whole year? That's how they do it, when it's escrowed. Yeah. You pay a year, and then you escrow, and then it gets paid again. Okay. So they're collecting 2300 for the homeowners off the flip, and then 99 for the property. Yeah, so we're paying our insurance, which is kind of dope, for a year. Caught up. Do we owe on these, or do we, I think we paid these we already, paid, didn't we? We were yeah. paying monthly. Okay. Yep, so now it's changing to annual. Okay. Paying monthly? What do you mean? Every month we made a payment to the insurance company. Oh, got it. And then we changed the way in which it's paid now because it's escrowed to mm -hmm. just do it monthly. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Annually. Annually, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to have to worry about taxes on these now because they're paid every month. I know you guys mentioned it, but how long have you owned the properties? Two Since years. 2021. Are they all rentals? Yes. Probably 50s, so 70. Oh, yeah, nice. Probably, give or take. Yeah, I updated one of them to, or I updated the file after I printed out the document, so you're off the hook. <laughs> Come again? He doesn't have to sign any of our title docs, because ah. I added his name after I'd already printed them, and I wasn't going back and killing more trees. That's right. Sounds good to me. I've already killed a few lately. There's for one payoff, and that's for the other one. We just passed the inspection on the Dover bottom unit. I don't really know what that means, but sounds good. All right, so we're going to walk out of here with 41000 a day. We didn't do anything. Straight to the boats, all on double green zeros. We didn't do anything. We didn't pay a dollar for these properties. Pretty awesome. It is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now we just need to raise the rent so we can actually cash flow yeah. because we're, we're probably breaking even month to month. But one thing I've learned over the last couple of years, really since you have since COVID, with interest rates going through the freaking roof, is that real estate used to be great with cash flow, but it's not as great anymore. But they are appreciating much more rapidly with inflation. Inflation also makes the debt that you hold on them easier to pay. So it's not a big deal, which is kind of cool. It's true. The flip to that is they would cash flow if we don't pull out as much equity. So like right now, we're only pulling only pulling out $40,000. Could pull out 200 we or could pull out about 200, but then we would really not cash flow. Yeah, it's true. Or again, I think in the post I had mentioned on real estate school, we also we could sell them and we would net close to $400,000. Or I'm sorry, we would gross close to $400,000. But that $400,000 Guess what? We pay taxes on that, so we wouldn't actually net that amount. We mm -hmm. would, uh, we yeah, whatever tax bracket you're in, 30, 40 percent. Bye bye. So yeah, we don't want to do that. So we're gonna refi, pull out the money, and now becomes a debt. We're obligated to repay. It is not income. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. House so easy, we close fast, and anytime that works for you. Your house don't need it. We'll throw cash, it hits so fast, don't know what to do. 